So there's a bunch of different ways to make explosions in Godot, but I think I figured out a pretty good balance of difficulty and effect. This explosion is made up of debris, fire, and smoke particles. So what we're going to do is combine all of these elements in one scene. We'll create three particle systems using GPU particle nodes for debris, fire, and smoke. Let's start with the debris. We'll go into drop assets to choose a cylinder mesh for the particle. What we're looking for is really a cone, and we can get that by changing the top radius to 0.1 and the bottom radius to 0. We can keep the height at 2, and then let's add a material to the mesh. And in Obito, we're going to change the color of the particle to an orange, like so. We want our debris to glow a little bit, so we're going to turn on emission and set our emission color to an orange, just like our our albedo and then set the energy multiplier to 2 which basically just determines how strong the glow is then we're going to head to the top and change the emission amount to 24 in the time settings we'll change the lifetime of the particles to 0.5 seconds change the explosiveness to 1 and then set the fixed FBS to 60 just so that the particles look a little smoother cool so in process material we'll add a new particle process material to the debris we want the particles flying in all directions so we'll set the spread setting under velocity to 180 the initial velocity minimum can be 12 and then maximum 14 then to make sure that the particles are facing towards where they're going we need to turn on align y under particle flags now to add a little bit of variety we'll go into display scale settings and change our scale minimum to 0.5 and maximum to 1.5 another problem is that they're disappearing a little abruptly so we'll add a scale curve with three points like so and on the last point we'll drag the scale all the way down to zero so that's our debris don't forget to turn on one shot for them in the time settings and then let's move on to fire after creating another particle system for it we'll head on over to the draw passes and select a sphere shape for the mesh the default sphere is a little too perfect so we'll make it more jagged by lowering the radial segments to eight and rings to four. We'll add a material to it, and rather than setting the albedo directly, we'll go into vertex color and tick use as albedo, which will allow us to change the color of the particle dynamically through the particle process material. We'll also go into the transparency settings and set our transparency mode to alpha. We won't need it for the fire, but we'll be duplicating this whole particle system for the smoke, so we might as well just add it now. Then up top, we'll change the emission amount to 12 and the time settings will keep lifetime at 1 and just like for the debris we'll set explosiveness to 1 and fixed FPS to 60. So now we can go ahead and add a process material for the particles and in here the first thing that we'll do is go into our spawn settings and change our spawn into a sphere with a radius of 1. This will spread out the particles when they spawn but we also want them flying in different directions. So we'll go into our spawn velocity settings and set our y direction to negative 1, our x direction to 0, and then spread to 90 degrees. What this will do after we set the initial velocity minimum to 2 and maximum to 4 is send them flying down, which is not exactly what we want in the end, but it will be a way to counteract the gravity acceleration of 5 that will add to them to pull them up so that they don't fly up immediately. So now, just like with the debris, we'll go into our display scale settings and change our scale minimum to 0.5 and maximum to 1.5. We'll also create a scale curve to change the scale of the particles over their lifetime. We'll create three points here. In the beginning, we want them to be at zero scale, and we want them to rapidly go up to maximum scale, and then drop back to zero over the rest of their lifetime. One thing to watch out for in the current Godot version is that starting the particles at zero scale breaks them for some reason, so I had to raise the starting scale to like 0.01. Cool. So the last thing that we're going to do here is add color and emission to the particles. So go into color curves and display display and then change our particle color to a yellow and then add a color ramp so that our particles will change color from yellow to orange to red. We also want our fire particles to glow so we're going to add an emission curve and an emission curve basically just determines the emission energy and we don't really define the emission color here. So we want a max value of 2 here and we're going to start off with 2 emission energy and then drop that down to 1 over the particle's lifetime. And that's our fire done. Remember to turn on 1 
one shot so that the particles only spawn once once we add the explosion to the scene and let's move on to the smoke by first duplicating the fire particle node and then turn off one shot and turn on emitting so that we can see our changes in real time we'll set lifetime to two seconds and then move on to the process material where we'll select make unique recursive from this drop down and this will allow us to make changes to the process material of the smoke without changing the fire and the first thing that we're going to do is go into our color curves and get rid of the emission curve and the color ramp we're going to change the base color to gray as all smoke should be then we're going to head on over to the spawn velocity settings and set our initial velocity minimum to one and maximum to two then we want to lower the spread from 90 degrees to 45 degrees and the combination of these will keep our smoke particles more grouped and as the final thing we're going to go back to the color curve settings and add an alpha curve which will determine the transparency of the particles over their lifetime you want to start off at zero alpha then go to about 80 percent just past the midpoint of the lifetime and then go back to zero and this is how our smoke looks like after all that now if we combine everything the explosion will have the fire be drawn on top of the smoke but we can also move the smoke up above the fire in the node tree which will give us this effect you can decide which one you like better in the meantime we're going to add an explosion sound with an audio stream player 3d drag our sound file into this field and then after renaming the audio stream player node we're going to attach a script to the base explosion node in the script we are going to control drag all of the particle and audio nodes into the script to create on ready variables for them then get rid of the ready and process functions and create a new explode function which we can call to trigger the explosion in this function we all set all of the particle nodes to emitting set the audio node to playing and then create a timer for two seconds after which we can delete the whole node because it's already done with all the particles and that's our explosion i also added some screen shake to this which might be a topic for another video but you can download all of the project files from my patreon as well as a couple of other variations of the same concepts that you can make with just particle nodes and no shaders Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.